In this video, we got to talk about Excel tables and spilled arrays, because spilled arrays do not work in Excel tables. Now, before we look at an example with Excel tables, let's just see how spilled arrays work. Our goal is to take gross pay for each row, multiply it by the tax rate to get tax deduction. And since we're multiplying decimals, and this is a money amount, we're required to use the round function. Now, normally, we would take a relative cell reference times the tax rate and we have to lock it using the F4 key. So that's an absolute cell reference as we copy down. And then we're rounding to the penny. And for a normal formula where we have relative cell references in a row, we enter the formula, Control-Enter, and copy it down. Now notice, absolute cell reference 1, copy it down 2, those two actions are not needed when we use spilled arrays. Instead of doing a relative cell reference, you just highlight all three values. That means in the number argument of round, we put three items, which instructs the round function to deliver three answers and spill them down the column. Then we multiply, and we don't have to lock it, comma 2, close parentheses. Now when I use Control-Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected, I can see the formula up here. But all the other items are spilled down the column. The significance is we didn't have to lock, we didn't have to copy. Now, I would like to take advantage of spilled arrays in an Excel table. We're going to select the gross pay column times, and there's our tax rate, comma 2, close parentheses. But when I hit Enter, and there it is. There's the message. The formula you type could return multiple values, which is not supported in tables and it reports a spill error. But you know what? The Excel table feature, if we put in a relative cell reference, and that at symbol is the implicit intersection operator that's working on the entire column that says, please get the item in the current row times. And I'm going to have to use the F4 key to lock it. So that one step that we don't have to do with spilled arrays, we do have to do in Excel tables. But guess what? In an Excel table, if you have your options set correctly, when I enter this formula, it automatically copies down the column. If we go to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options, on the Auto Format as you type, that checkbox is what automatically fills the formula down a column in an Excel table. It actually is the default setting on most computers. So when we get to an Excel table, we're not going to use spilled arrays, and we still have to lock. But the formula will automatically copy down rather than spill like we did up here. All right, if you like that video, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. If you want to learn more about tables or dynamic array formulas, check out these videos.